you look at that. Uh, believe it or not, that is the Australian equivalent of the EV1, um, otherwise, known, otherwise known as the Blade Electron. Only a few hundred of these were ever made. Um, predates the Nissan Leaf by a fair few months. Um, and um, there's only a, a few left in the country operating. Um, only had a 16 kilowatt hour battery. Um, so um, relatively short range and not very well supported, which is why it's in, actually in, into us for some remediation work, uh, which we'll talk through in a minute. Um, if you look inside, it looks fairly ordinary, I guess, really. Um, we'll go for a drive shortly so we can go through exactly how it all, it all operates. Um, so you've got, uh, if we look under the Onto the bottom, actually, just for you can see it's um, you can see it's, it's very much not uh, a standard car underneath, a whole lot of high voltage stuff going on. Um, uh, and then the 16 kilowatt hour battery in the back, uh, which propels this car for around 120 130 k's in it, uh, 120 130 k's. Um, so we'll just turn to Julian now and he can talk you through exactly what's going on. Hey guys, I'm Julian, the mechanic at Evolution Australia. Uh, today, we're gonna be handing off this uh, Blade Electron back to the customer. Uh, the vehicle itself has been in with us for a, a number of fixes. Uh, mainly, we've done a cell balance to check the overall health of the battery. We've installed a smart electric vehicle charge controller to allow the customer to charge in public places. And uh, yeah, just a general tidy up and check her over the uh, vehicle health. This is actually really nice, isn't it? <laughs> so I guess one of the most interesting things out of this is how complete and mature the car is. Uh, Ross Blade did an awesome job of this back in the day, given this is what, some nine years old, nine year old technology. Um, it's really very well done. All the gauges work. Um, it's pretty responsive off the line. Uh, it's still got decent range, given the size of the battery, which is only 16 kilowatt hours. Um, it, it feels actually really, really good and really tight. And it's probably one of the, the cleanest Blade Electron slash high end I get as I've ever seen, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, it's pretty it's pretty impressive all up. Uh, I look to drive, there's no, I guess the thing to talk about is that there's no clutch, which is kind of interesting. So um, there's literally just four gears. Um, you've got um, a forward and reverse uh, toggle here, which is kind of interesting in itself as well. So literally just put it in in one of the one of the gears here, second, first, second, third, fourth, typically second, um, and then uh, use the accelerator and brake, and that's it. And your left leg does nothing whatsoever. So it's actually pretty well, like I say, it's pretty, it's pretty well done. Um, we've just got those few things to talk to, to fix up, um, as Julian talked about, which is great. Um, so relatively minor stuff, but you know, important all the same. The inability to charge from public charging stations is pretty down, <laughs> pretty critical um, so thankfully we were able to fix that fairly easily uh, by inserting a module uh, and then if we put our foot down it actually goes really well it's actually pretty pretty quick and then obviously we've got to fix up the regen for them as well because it's not really regening as much as any of us would like if I'm perfectly honest But yeah, just quick run, run, run around the block. Uh, nice tight little car and a real alternative and, uh, to the Leaf. And also, you know, something a little bit different as well compared to all the Model 3s and Model S's and Kona's and all that kind of thing that we see come through the shop as well.